Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverage is a very nice and chilled strawberry milkshake. Actually, I believe it's strawberry oat milkshake. Either way, very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game in the previous episode. Surprise, surprise, we were once again cleaning and we got up to a 71 or 72%, which was pretty good. In this episode, we're hopefully going to be finishing off this, uh, this scenario here. And obviously we'll do that by cleaning, well, in this case, a lot of the norms because we have the norms to clean, we have the main pool area as you can see looking down here to clean so there's lots of stuff to actually do and these norms in particular are known to be a bit problematic having a lot of um, angles to to cover there anyway we're gonna go ahead and clean off uh, this thing here I'm not gonna worry about at this stage anyway the, the the sort of detailing on the outside there that is the wall pillar decoration so I'm not gonna worry about that too much at this stage I think we'll probably leave that for another time specifically when we can run around with the metal cleaner once everything has uh, been cleaned off with the, with the basic pressure washing. So running with the 25 degree glean, uh, green, glean? Uh, green cleaner head here, I don't know if it would be better to... Yeah, we'll stick with the long extension, but maybe run the 15 degree nozzle. Actually, yep, yeah, that is instantly... I can, It just feels to be much better considering the range we're attacking this at and the coverage that we are looking for as well. So, yep, yeah, pretty happy with that. We're going to stick with this cleaner for the time being so just spraying on and around in there over the top working around and then obviously going there as well so just going to go to uh, maybe some prone here spray it in there up and around the top and then just keep working working around 73% uh, on the clean as I said hopefully we'll get this one done in this episode I can't see why we couldn't get this clean there's that now done and we didn't really have much overspray because strangely I didn't even need to spray on the top of this guy's uh, the top of this guy's hat for some reason it didn't require didn't require cleaning so I guess we'll just continue on with that, uh, with that in mind that we don't necessarily need to jump on top of the norms these are all a little bit different as well these norms so this one well the first one we did was standing on a barrel um, the next one is holding a jug pointing back over. This one again is standing on a, well, I said a barrel, but it's a jug. This one is holding another one as well, but uh, by the handle this time rather than on the shoulder. So we've got different looks and different themes here, although we do have multiples of those types. So there's, there's several there's several ones here, a little bit different on, on each one there as well. So just going to spray on the back here. This is outer wall norm, that's all they're called. They don't have names like Gerald or Kenny, Agatha. Other names are also available. And unlike a lot of the other norms in the game, these ones ain't uh, one we can spray around the course. <laughs> I'm going to assume that there's norms on every single map. That seems to be the, the Easter egg and the thing to find. So maybe... That is the case, maybe it isn't, I don't actually know. And there's that one clean as well. Might as well start over on this one, on the inside this time, because why not? Spray inside of that vessel. I was going to call it a jug, but it is some sort of vessel. And you have to spray it from the sides, actually, because you can't get behind the, the rim of it. So need a, We need a, 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 one, a, a spray that can go around corners, but I don't think... Those have been invented just yet. I mean, I understand that a hose can go around corners, but I'm talking about a nozzle that <laughs> can make this fire forward and then have to say, I don't know, a meter, four feet, just take an instant left turn or something. I don't think that sort of sorcery and or technology has been yet invented. No, can I really com can think of a... A huge market for it, to be quite frank. There we go, there's that cleaned. Not too bad at all. Once again, we'll go for this front pillar. Work on both sides. That's fine. Obviously this centre bit really needs a clean, but we'll come back to that. Another one of the norms here. Holding the jug, uh, facing back over. Side. That's nice. Then cut in here as well. And then we'll get these norms. 
And this seems to be one of the easier ones to spray, although we do need to alter angles just to get where some of that dirt has managed to get. Which we're still trying to figure out the origin of the dirt. Looks like the Chaos God Corners had a bit of a party around here. Is it gnomes or is it skulls for the skull thrown? I'm not really too sure. Spray in there. I think we'll have to go up. <laughs> One little jump like that and it was uh, pretty much job done. So that's okay. Spray around the back of this one as well. And uh, looks like the dancing on that one. Yeah. So that one is... Yeah, they are actually slightly different then, are they? Yeah. Um, that one and that one, may, I think, are the same. But this one... This guy looks like he's about to fall off it, quite honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a bit of an overhang. In fact, someone walking along, that, that foot is going to connect with someone's face, which is not ideal. Where there's blame, there's claim. I'm sure there'll be some... Lawyer guy coming along. <laughs> Have you been natting that wasn't your fault? Have you been kicked in the face by a, a gnome statue made of stone? If so, call 800. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine that happening. And then next time we come, there'll be bubble wrap on the foot. <laughs> but, aside from uh, made up stories. We'll uh, eventually get this one done, and won't it won't experience a story afterwards because obviously this is just the this is not a campaign mode. We don't get texts from people telling them their business, uh, which we often see in the in the main campaign, where they'll tell us all sorts of business that's maybe personal or perhaps they wouldn't otherwise have uh, shared for whatever reason. But yet they do, because apparently we are the local pressure washing person as well as the town councillor. For all of your power washing and talking therapy needs. There we go. Let's see if we can get underneath here. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt there. And I think also a lot of it will be on top of yeah on top of this, so just a couple of jumps like that. A couple on the pot here as well. Yep, on the side there. Jump up to get inside on that jug. And there's that cleaned. And then I think, yep, yeah, all of these are now cleaned. So what I'm going to do then is spray inside of here. It feels like it's going to be a 25 degree nozzle job. So what I'll do is I'll spray in here. This is where we've got the gap between each individual floor and it's ah oh, it might be hang on is it the same let's have a quick check i don't think it's the same no it's not so i'm looking on the top left there it says low pool floor it is the same thing name wise but it is not the same pool floor so that's the main takeaway there so let's go ahead and get this get this cleaned. And let's see how far we can get. We're on seventy eight percent for this one. And realistically, we've got the main bulk of it is this floor now, plus the main outside wall. And then after that, we have the metal detailing. And then whatever I've forgotten about, there might be a couple of things on, say, a mid to high 90% cleaned. Or maybe even sitting on 99 that we haven't found yet. So we'll see how we get on there. And this is just straight up flat surface cleaning work. 
no major details to spray around or to worry about. Just uncovering the very nice looking surface. If I can spray left to right, I wonder if that would be of some benefit. Certainly easier on the wrist. <laughs> Although it didn't seem to get the coverage. I think I'm just used to doing it that way. But this floor is not complete because there's still bits over here that I've I've missed by all accounts. Yeah. Yeah, just little bits, but then that's now done. Okay, I'm going to do a test, and I'm going to switch over to our soap nozzle with the stone cleaner liquid. And I'm going to see how long it takes to clean all of this. So we've run out of that. I don't know how much of this we have. But I'm just, let's say, doing a test to see... if there is a noticeable improvement in time. Well, naturally there is. And I've managed to clean the majority of this using that in, what, how, how, how long was that? I wasn't timing it. I guess 30 seconds? But obviously I've still left lots of residue about. And that was only a 2 or 3% clean as well. And there's still all of this stuff around that I have to go back and clean. Because the cleaner is good for just getting all that it's getting that really toughened muck off. That's what it's for. That's what it's very useful for, I found. But for big surfaces like this, I mean you may as well just take your time and go back and Oh is that not that wall cap not done? Yeah, apparently it wasn't. That's one of the things I mentioned about we'll have to go back and do uh some of the ones that are on like a 90%. Yeah, so we did save a little bit of time doing that. Actually, quite a bit of time. But we also used a lot of cleaner. Um, so I'm not convinced I want to continue on using that. I think we're going to stick with, I say, cleaning this way. So using, at the moment, the green 25 degree sprayer. Stand in one place. And then you sort of fan out. Bring it back. I keep working like that. Yep, yeah, that's... That's fine. Hit your 2% cleaned. Like so this is the main flat surface. I think there's four of these in total. One, two... No, there's a lot more than that. There's going to be six. I would guess. Could be eight segments, but I think it's six. And there's a prime example there why you do need to take the time to clean it properly because I went a bit too quick and ended up having to go back. So you might as well do it right once rather than do it wrong twice. And just spraying. Well, we can up to the edge, then back down. This edge here, this is where you often miss bits because of the the angle as well as the colours. So it's a lot harder to see some of the bits like that, that you miss there. I don't think that's got. Yeah, it is just flat. It is just there's no there's no like ridge in it, so you don't need to alter your angle necessarily. <coughs> Excuse me. You just need to do what we're doing here. And I think what we'll do is just get up to there. And then that should be that done. If we just get in here. Hmm. Yep, that's that done as well. Okay. Let's try once again the stone cleaner what if I take a bit more thorough than before because I did sort of go really quick with it before I 
What if we just do this? And obviously we are using a lot more liquid. But we're also getting more of it cleaned. This is a challenge mode after all. We're not paying for this cleaning liquid. This is just some of what we, we just get given it really. But we're on to our last litre of cleaning fluid now. And we're still going to have to go back to clean with this. So, spray in here. I'm going to go over there. I mean, it definitely saves time. Even though you have to come back. But it definitely saves time. Um, would I use it? Would I use it in with the... Uh, I need it for these. Is there any graffiti? Don't think so. So you can see the outer wall. We can do the outer wall with it. And it is really quick to do that. Do I want to save it for anything? I'm just looking around to see if there's any graffiti. I can't see any graffiti. So I don't see any reason why I wouldn't just use this up just to speed up our progress. But once it's run out, that's it. We can't get any more. So that's ran out now, and there's, that's it, out of stone cleaner. So we are out. We do have the metal cleaner, which we don't actually need to use. And I think, yeah, I think the metal cleaner, or any other cleaner, does still work. So it does still work with your pressure washer on other surfaces. So even though we use the, sto the metal cleaner on the stone surface, I think we do get some cleaning off it. It's just, you know, very stunted. It's, it's not a... It, it's it's not the ideal solution, but it is some sort of cleaning fluid. It's strange that the clean is based on the surface that you're working on rather than the dirt that is adhered to it. So, for example, you've got metal cleaner, stone cleaner, wood cleaner, etc. But it's not like, oh, this is this is cleaning solution for oil or grease or paint etc obviously that's just the direction they've, they've took the game thinking back to when I originally played the game I think it was a free prototype on itch.io I believe and there was only ooh, was there a couple of was there a couple of maps in the game I can't actually remember the one I remember playing though is the house, and I think the house in some form is still available in this version. But they also had a little bit more detail in it. So, one of the bits I remember doing in the, in the house level was we were cleaning the, the garage, the garage, and the drive way into it was like a herringbone pattern I think it was a herringbone pattern sort of stone cobbled floor type thing but the grout or at least the spacing between the material between the brickwork you had to spray in exactly that angle so for example imagine a line as thick as this on the left hand in between this and this so imagine that there if you spray it from this angle, you wouldn't get it. You'd have to spray it pretty much directly like that. Um, it was very <laughs> problematic to clean and uh, did require a lot of patience. Also, there was different nozzle types with different pressures, naturally like there is in this game, in this version of the game, should I say. However, you could put windows in. <laughs> if you used the highest uh, setting of the pressure washer and you sprayed a window, You'd hear like a crack noise, and then you would see all of the the cracking in the glass as you basically crack the glass with the with the pressure washer. That's a mechanic that's not in the game. In this version of the game, they they did away with that from the prototype. Obviously, you can still you can still use your pressure washer to spray things around like footballs and the norms and other things that uh, can move freely in the game. But no, the whole the whole breaking mechanic was uh, removed in in I guess the attempt to make the game just more chill. Uh, less 
I mean, it's called Power Wash Simulator, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just to make it more chill. It's about the satisfying nature of seeing that get cleaned rather than having to worry about all of the minutiae and intricacies. So for better or worse, that's the way they've, uh, they went with it. Who knows if there'll be challenge maps in the future that maybe add those in. I would probably guess not. I think the uh, the ship has sailed for that sort of mechanic. I don't think that's the way they're looking at the game now. At least there isn't a durability mechanic for our pressure washers where we have to keep maintaining them. And Oh, you've, sp you've sprayed X gallons of water. We have to do a full service now. You have to buy it again. Yay. Fun. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I can't say I'm a big fan of durability systems. Some settings, yes. Fallout springs to mind that I don't mind that sort of thing, but... I remember playing... What was it? Uh... Oh, it was... um. The Zelda game on the Switch. Can't remember even what it's called now. Just couldn't get away with it. And a lot of it was to do with that that mechanic. Oh, you're fighting something. Great. Clink. Weapon broke. Okay, I'll pull another one out. Fighting. Clink. That broke. Oh, that's your best weapons. Are you going to die now? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot more detail to that. And, uh, you know, any Zelda fan, I assume you can uh, let me know. But I didn't give it much time. It was, to be honest, I, I, it was, a, it was the game that came with the Switch, so it wasn't the main reason why I, I picked it up. But yeah, so we're on ninety-two percent now. Back to this game after being distracted for a moment. Um, so we're doing quite well. We cer certainly will finish off this cleaning in, in this episode. I think we've only got this bit of tiling to do. Oh, this bit of flooring here. I'm cleaning the tiles. And then one more. Followed by then. The. Outside bit. I think that's the deal. Just double check. Press and tab there. I'm cleaning up around there. That's now done. Yep, one more section remaining. So let's do just that. So it'll probably take us to 95%, I would imagine. Um, one thing I have noticed as well, speaking of taking those two, we've now got over a thousand in the bank balance. 1,014.36 generic units of currency. Not bad at all. Pressing tab, that seems to be alright. We're on 94%. I'm guessing, guessing we're in between 95 and 96% once we've done this flooring. Probably 95. And then we'll go around the outside and see how successful we've been. And then we'll move on to the next the next map of the game. I'm trying to think what that is, I can't remember. Oh, it's the mini golf course. Of course, of course, of course, it's the mini golf course course. Spring in there. And there's all the I think it's brass, but we'll just call it the metal detailing on the outside to do. There's us at ninety five percent there. So we'll do the the metal detailing once I've done all of the main spring for the all of the main spring for the wall because that will give some more spray to get the dirt off and then we'll come back with the cleaner because we do still have metal cleaner we just don't have the stone cleaner this is where I find a couple of sections that are just 100% graffiti uh, <laughs> And I really need the the stone cleaner. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, 
it has given us an outer wall, uh, sorry, a list, which includes outer wall times 30, wall pillar decorations, and uh, outer wall decorations. Outer walls, which I'm doing now, we've got 29 of them to do. I'm obviously working on that. We then have outer wall decorations. Oh, that'll be these ones. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So there's eight of those and 32 of the others. So I'm, ver I'm very glad I've kept the cleaner because, I mean, I did realise there was a fair few of those to clean. It just never occurred to me that there was that many. But obviously it makes sense now. I've just never never paid attention to it. I just went, yeah, we'll come back to that with the cleaner. Um, so yeah, we will do that. Obviously I'm giving the decorations as well a good once over. It's not that we can't clean these with the cleaner. Uh, without the cleaner, should I say. We can clean it with the, the turbo nozzle. The spiralizer 5 million. Or we can come back and do the, just the standard zero degree focus pressure wash. Either of those would be adequate. No, no longer it's taking us on average to do one of these. One. About 10 seconds. About 10 seconds to do each one. And hopefully we're being quite efficient about it. There we go. Just spraying over that detail there. Naturally because we've been spraying the cap and around these things, we've had some overspray. Oh, huh, hang on. This is the side that I, uh, <laughs> I ran around with the cleaner. So these ones are not going to take uh, very long to do. <laughs> yeah, they're very easy to do, them ones. Okay, fair enough. What is a little bit of a surprise, obviously the to-do list pops up when there's only three items remaining, or three categories of items, should I say. So we've got outer walls, which even though we've got, at the moment, 13 to do, it's still only one category, it's just the outer walls. Um, I would have thought that we may have missed one or two things. That's normally what happens, we miss one or two things, whether it be a plank somewhere, or whatever some strut or rope or whatever that's in it's it's quite small or there might be multiples of them um i think and i think the noticeable one was on the ferris wheel the uh that one was quite like that and treehouse as well where it's just oh yeah and, and a wood support there's like 50 of them or whatever uh, you've missed one of them good luck um that was before it would give us a detailed readout one where we could actually see it properly but yeah I would have thought we'd have something like that in this in this one but apparently not we've managed to successfully clean things fully before moving on to the next to the next one which is I wouldn't say it's a first but it's certainly not that common there we go five more of these remaining and I'm looking forward to see the time lapse but because of how we cleaned it, it might be all over the place a little bit. <laughs> At least we're not going to have scaffolding right in front of the camera like I think one of them was. <laughs> and are we taking bets on whether all this, f this thing fills up with water? <laughs> I very much doubt it. Um, I was going to say, I've missed some bits, but it's, it's just apparently I've cleaned two of them. And these are here. There we go. Just spraying a little embellishment on the right to make sure it's got the more stuff. And there we go. So we just have now the last bit to do. I'm going to go with the metal cleaner and we have all of these to do. So because we can, I'm going to go anti-clockwise. Getting those satisfying tings. That doesn't want to be clean, that one. Literally a, a tiny bit of spray. Like that. 
<laughs> yep, this is why you save the cleaner for the bits like this. Because you can just go around. You can hit them up very quickly. And the money we're getting is only 25... Or 0 0.25 generic units of currency. It's 25 cents. And job complete. There it is. So let's press escape and see what it is like. So obviously we start from the top, work our way around. And that is quite satisfying to see that. <laughs> sometimes I'm working in clockwise order. Sometimes I'm working anti-clockwise. But there you go. That is the Gnome Fountain. Let's restart the job and do that again. No, no, let's not do that. So we have managed to do that job. And um, out of all four of the current... Spare special missions. It's a Mars rover, Gnome Fountain, Steam Locomotive, and the Mini Golf Course. That's... Mm, I think I prefer that over the rover. But the rover was quite short. Um, yeah. It was, it was okay. I think if you ask me another day, I'd say I hated it. If you ask me a day later, I'd probably say it was quite good. <laughs> I can't really make my mind up with the, the Gnome Fountain. The height was a bit of an issue. Um, and it went from, again, a lot of the problems you find with the maps is that without those satisfying little tings, it's like the carrot, you know, rather than the stick. You get these little rewards, even though it's just little noises and stuff. It's just a satisfying bit to say, yep, you have completed this little section. Congrats, rather than watch the percentage going up. But anyway, we do have this um, clean the mini golf course. I don't know how mini this golf course is. I don't know how many holes it's got. I don't know, yeah, what the deal is with it. But we do get a Prime Vista 3000 with all extensions. We have the um, turbo nozzle, cleaning fluid. We have three stone cleaners, three wood cleaners, and three multi-purpose cleaners. I'm seeing from this picture, um, lots of dirt, lots of mildew up the top. Uh, can't really see any graffiti. But yeah, next episode we'll look at doing that one. In terms of money, we've got over a thousand. In terms of equipment, what do we not own? We don't own. Um, I think we own, do. We own everything. We've we've got all the cleaning fluids. They're bought out. We don't own all the clothing, and quite frankly, I'm not bothered about that. We don't own some of the skins. Uh, we do have a carbon skin for the Prime Vista Pro. And we also, well, the medium duty we own, because we went and spent money on that. I think that's everything owned, is it? I thought someone mentioned before that I don't own... Oh yes, I don't own the Prime Vista Pro Turbo Nozzle, so I'm going to pick that up. Even though I hardly ever use it, at least I've picked it up. So there we go, that's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Hopefully it's been a fairly chill one for you, and hopefully you have enjoyed it. As always, comments in the comments, and next episode we'll look at cleaning the mini golf course. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.